Hello, welcome back to the Hey Jessica blog and the YouTube channel. Today, we are tackling why your business needs to have a blog. Now, if you're new to my channel or my site, you may not know this is a video and a blog post that I've actually done before, but I wanted to make sure that I was bringing all relevant and up-to-date information to you guys. And it's a question I keep getting inside of my Facebook group and in my community, and I wanted to make sure I addressed it. I am a firm believer that every single business needs a blog. And when I say blog, that can sound kind of like, oh, seriously, like we need a blog, but I mean current up-to-date blogging practices. Every single business can benefit and use a blog. The reasons you can benefit from and use a blog for your business are infinite. I feel like there are so many reasons that it's really good for business to have this, but I'm just gonna run through a few. So. The number one reason it is good for any business to have a blog is SEO. Now, I talked a lot about SEO in a series I did a while back, so if you wanna know more about SEO, how to name your photos for SEO, how I use YouTube to increase the SEO on my site, or anything like that, click the links below this video in this description box to be able to see those past videos I did specifically on SEO. But for now, we're talking about blogging and blogging is huge for SEO, like huge, like major huge, like really huge, just saying. The reason is Google really favors websites that are consistently putting out content with relevant key terms. So if you just put up a website and it's just your homepage and your about page and your contact page and that's it, you are not consistently putting information out into Google. So your website, keywords will kind of just dwindle and die and Google won't really care that you even have them on your site. Whereas if you are constantly putting out content, Google is constantly having to index your site for new keywords and that is a good thing. That is something they want to do. They're gonna show preference to the websites that have more content coming out on a more consistent basis. In terms of SEO, you're also putting your website out for keywords that it may not normally even be found for. So let's say you're an accountant and you're an accountant for small business owners and that's the keywords you use on your website as a whole. Accountant, small business owners. So when someone Googles accountant for small business owners, they're likely going to find your homepage if you've done your stuff right, right? But let's say you really like the program Wave or QuickBooks, I don't really care, it doesn't matter. Well, let's go with Wave for now. You really like the Wave accounting software and you decide to write a post about it. Now, you wouldn't normally be an expert on Wave accounting, right? But because you're writing a post on it, you can use the keywords like Wave accounting or Wave apps or how to use Wave or something of that nature and now your website and you as a whole are being found on Google for different key terms than you would have been found if you didn't have that post. So you're basically just broadening your horizons as far as all the key terms that you can be found for on your website. Okay, so that's the number one reason you need to have a blog on your website and that is SEO. Number two, it increases your relevance and your expertise level in the eyes of visitors. So if someone comes to a website and there's not any current content or it's been, you know, six months since they last blogged or whatever, they're going to look less serious about their business than someone who's consistently pumping out content and giving people something to read and do when they come to their website. So as a whole, you're increasing your ability to be seen as an expert and to be seen as relevant in today's world. The third reason you need a blog on your business website is because it will increase your page views per month, per year, whatever. So again, going back to if you just had a homepage or an about page and a contact page or whatever, and you didn't have a blog, you're not putting out 
any new content. So why would someone want to come back to your site consistently or invite their friends or anything like that? They wouldn't. But when you're using a blog to increase the amount of content that's going out into the interwebs, repeat people are coming back to your site. They're telling their friends about your article you published. You are getting more Google searches that come into your site. So overall, you are increasing your exposure and your page views, which will essentially increase your email list and your income if you're doing it correctly. So that leads me into number four. Number four reason you need a blog for your business, and that is that it will help grow your email list. Now, I don't think that every business needs a just a blog. I think you need to be doing it strategically. Not just posting about your latest wedding you photographed or what's new at your store, but writing articles that appeal to your ideal client or customer and then giving them a reason to opt into your email list. We all know that the money is in the list, right? So we should give people a reason to want to be on our list. So when you are creating consistent content and relevant content to your ideal audience, they'll come to your website and they'll be like, whoa, that was good content and she has a free guide that I can download right now. Let me click that button because yes, I want that. And now they're on your email list. So this all kind of works together, right? You are increasing your SEO to get more people to your site. You're increasing the fact that people are going to see you as more of an expert. You are getting people actually on your website consistently and repeatedly. And all of those people who are coming for all of those other reasons I just mentioned are eventually coming onto your email list. And if you're doing it correctly with sales funnels or you know promoting to your list in the right ways, then more people on your email list means more income. So your blog can be a super valuable tool to your business, to any business. I can promise you right now that every single business could make more money by having a consistent, relevant, and strategic blog strategy included in their business plan. So this is kind of why, right? Like this is why. That's what I'm saying. So if I've done my job and I've talked you into the fact that you need a blog on your website, but you're like, I don't even know what to blog about. I have a free guide that accompanies this blog post that will help you figure out what you should be blogging about and figure out how to appeal to your ideal client or customer with your blog. So if you're on YouTube, click the link below to head over to the blog post and grab that guide. And if you're watching right here in the blog, scroll up and down and find the little box that will give you that guide. I can't wait to see how you incorporate blogging into your business strategy. So definitely let me know how it works for you and if you have any questions. In the meantime, hit the button below and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would love to have you here and that way you'll never miss another techie and business strategy tip from me again. Bye y'all.